on this video we're gonna learn how to create a class and specifically we're gonna do some in-depth learning of the constructor so I'm gonna create a solution first and now I'm going to create my custom class so right click on your project and add new file I'm gonna click on empty class I'm gonna give it a name the name of my class could be player now notice that it is a very good programming behavior to name your class starting with the first letter in capital so capital P new and here's my player class so public class is the name of my class player and the first thing you see here is called the constructor so this is the constructor when you instantiate an object from the player class the constructor gets called and it gets called just once so let's instantiate this class here player p equals new player so here instantiate an object from player class so player is the class P is the object so notice right here we pass no parameters there's no parameters on calling the constructor and the reason we do that is because on the constructor of your player class it needs no parameter whatsoever but this class it gets called it's not doing anything at this moment so if you run this program nothing happens but it is instantiating it is reserving space in memory for a new object if we go back to the class to the constructor of the class and if we decided to say hi I'm a constructor now we go back to main and if you run this class again now it says hi I'm a constructor the message is there now notice that the constructor of the player class receives no parameter whatsoever in this case and also it doesn't return anything it never returns anything it just creates an object so we can create more than one constructor so let's create a constructor that has a parameter and the parameter here is going to be string message and I want to print this message right here so now we have two constructor the default constructor and a constructor that has a parameter and the parameter happens to be a string and a string is a message so going back to the main if I call this constructor then obviously this one will be called because it doesn't have any parameter now if I decided to pass a string here I pass a string as a parameter what happens is that the second constructor will be called your your second constructor will be called 
So let's run this program. So I'm the second, I'm the other constructor. You can pass any parameter you want on the constructor if you previously created the code for that. So if I try to pass a integer, then this program is not going to run because on the class player there is no constructor that takes an integer so again you can pass any parameter you want as long as you previously coded that 